Hello everybody. Today I'd like to give a small demo of Gorilla REPL running embedded in a web application. The Alfresco repository in this case, but that's really not that important. It could really be any web application. What we see here is the default notebook of Gorilla REPL, which is not so interesting. So let's load the one I've been preparing, the Alfresco notebook for this demo. Okay, so this um, notebook here is about a histogram plot of MIME types along with the account of documents in the Alfresco repository. And it consists of cells of code we can evaluate. So let's just evaluate them all at once. Right. Okay, the first cell is not so important right now. It's just pulling in code. We, we are using further down along the notebook. The second one here is the closure way of uh, pulling together the uh, histogram data, MIME types along with the account for the axis. Okay, that cell here defines the plot data structure, which we are just outputting here, rendering magically into this histogram. But, well, unfortunately, we cannot really read anything on the axis here. But we can still have a look at the underlying data structure here. And if you know a little Vega, you may find out that we just need to squeeze in some values in here. So that's what we're doing here. And we can render the histogram again. And well, what we find out, or what we found out is that we have roughly 2000 PDF documents being the lion's share in this repository. So far for the histogram, um, when you're programming interactively or when you're programming in general, you're looking at documentation pretty frequently. At least this is what I do. So um, you can ask in the REPL, you can ask for documentation, but unfortunately I didn't bother to write some. Um, but we can still look at the source code anyways. Okay, so far for the documentation, but there's another neat feature I'd like to demo. And this is auto completion, which I, which, which I use all the time. Okay, right. Which is, whoops, which is pretty cool, whoops. Okay, right. Okay. Okay, we're done. Let's clean up this notebook here. Clean the output. Clean the output, right. And save it again. Thanks for watching. Bye.